Hi, this is going to be part six of my novel, Giada Job Jills. And um, if you have a DVD, you're watching this. If you have a CD, you're not, but you will. On the CD, you will have a copy, actually a part, partial uh, version of this. And if you think, hey, that sounds good, or if you're watching this DVD, watching this video, and you think, hey, that sounds like an interesting uh, novel. Well, type into your web browser, Project Monster Zero, or uh, Messages from the Edge of Earth, and you should find others who've done the exact same thing with their type in there. Uh, into the web browser, Project uh, Monster Zero, or Messages from the Edge of Earth, and you might be able to collaborate and learn how this thing ends. And in the process, you might download those videos that expose Islam really well. Got David Wood. I tried to get uh, Christian Prince in there. He's the best Christian Prince, but uh, his videos are long. So, yeah, anyway. Uh, and other uh, fellow cyber crusaders. I consider myself a cyber crusader, well, but those guys, you know, hey, they're really good. Really great at exposing what's in the Quran and Hadith and showing its weaknesses and then maybe we could bring down Islam before we're all in the Sharia law and have no free speech when it comes to exposing Islam and stuff like that and then have to pay the jizzy tax or have your patootie up in the air or be killed. So anyway, patootie up in the air five times a day. So anyway, I will continue reading this. This is part six now. All right. Okay. He decided that, this is Brian, the lead character in this uh, novel. Well, actually, he's not, he's not really the lead. At the beginning, he is, but you'll see what happened to him. Okay, he, that's Brian, decided that in, that in his, his last remaining weeks of living, he's got liver cancer, uh, um, he would write a science fiction novel that would expose Islam. Brian noticed that on his Aloha snack bar DVDs and CDs, that whether they were CD or DVD, they all had a blank they all had blank spaces on the edges of them. Let's see what time is in here. 10.53. I'll take this to 11.53. Okay. No, I'll take it to uh, uh, 3 after 11. That's it. Brian noticed that on his Aloha Snack Bars uh, DVDs and CDs that they, whether they were CD or DVD, they all had blank spaces on the edges of them, allowing him to add more video to the DVD versions of, and writings to the CD versions. With such a case, he would have his DVDs having different parts of his novel read onto them in video form and different parts of his novel in computer form burned onto the data deficient CD. Since he had so many DVDs and CDs, he felt he could make five exact copies, each containing the exact same video of him reading his novel and he could make 20 CDs in the exact same thing since he would have more of his novel revealed in CD, on CD. Those who wanted to learn about the novel more would have to find those on the internet who picked up a CD, not a DVD. Brian wanted 10 to 12 minutes of him reading his novel in video form on the DVD, since such a time length was easy for someone to upload to YouTube-like sites later on, uh, la later, later should they choose to do so. Since Brian felt that the novel was more revealing about him and very embarrassing due to the sexual nature of the, of the novel, Brian decided that this would be the one novel he would never publish. It would it could only be published in whole if those who picked up CDs and DVDs were not only many, but willing and able to upload them to the internet and publish it themselves. And if they did that, they could upload videos of Christian Prince, David Wood, 
and more of his fellow cyber crusaders who, as through he, who he thought, were excellent at exposing Islam, helping to bring it down before America went the way of Europe. Since it's a notebook data format, they can easily rewrite and change the novel to their own liking, improve it, and make it their own, thought Brian. I don't care if they make a fantastic Hollywood movie out of it, turning them into millionaires, or send it to Japan and turn it into another Ghost in the Shell, or, or um, a box full of fireflies, or whatever you call it. As long as they show how badly the Quran and Muhammad blow it, in their version of my novel, they plagiarize, hey, that's all I care about. Brian watched the sun setting over the mountains near the, the Golden Gate Bridge from the deck of his house. It was nearly completely, it was a near complete replay as he remembered it from near the precise same position when he and his parents visited friends in the Berkeley Hills where, when he was a toddler. Possibly only two years old at the time, he remembered feeling sad watching the sun go down due to the way the grown-ups were remarking about its setting. As the sun set now, Brian felt that if the novel failed to generate interest in finding out what happened to the lead character in the story, so be it, he thought. It's win-win for me either way. A bright side to, uh, to a bad side, and vice versa. If, if I bring down Islam with it, fantastic. If it's totally ignored, like I'm expecting, well, at least the novel won't embarrass me. It will be safely in the trash, protecting whatever perception people still have of me. Brian viewed the novel as his one last-ditch effort to create curiosity and a need to learn about what happens in the novel. In the process, Brian felt he could create a create, create sleeper cells when he'd later pull off something to generate a lot of news and activate them, making it possible for those who would have the data disks in their possession to upload the videos of his fellow cyber crusaders when they'd type into the web browser yet again project independence day or messages from the edge of earth of course for you it's going to be messages from the edge of earth or project monster zero so it's not exactly our reality and you'll find out why it's not exactly our reality near the end if you continue to yeah all right this is a this is a science fiction twilight zone novel yeah all right when Brian had all the CDs and DVDs ready, he headed for the BART stations again. Although he only uh, tossed down 500 of them onto the circular stone benches in the stations, he was shocked at how little energy he now had from the cancer. When he made it home, he was sweating profusely. He made a video sh uh, showing how killer high his blood pressure was now. It read 280 over 150. Things are starting to go haywire, he said to the camera before uploading it to LiveLeak. It had been a couple of months since he quit taking his blood pressure medication. Still, he managed to dial a certain number without getting himself a stroke. It was the number of the cowboy. Calling to apologize, fucker. Uh, calling to apologize, fucker. Uh, Willard, Willard asked with a uh, simmering hatred. You know, that is a very good question, said Brian. I was calling to see if you want a rematch with me. What? screamed Willard with shock. You think you can take me? I would have killed your ass with just one punch if, it, if, if I wasn't holding back 
Wow, I can't believe how stupid you are. I thought you actually had some brains, but you not anymore. Wow. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it, fucker. Uh, 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 bring it, bitch. Uh, uh, are you in the area now? Oh, how I hope you are. Uh, let's do it uh, in the park for my neighbors to see, okay? I thought you wanted to knock me out at the canal. I'm going to knock you the fuck out anywhere, asshole. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I'm going to knock you the fuck out anywhere, bitch. Unlikely, said Brian. I used to box in college and fight in schools. That fight in school as well. I never got knocked out. As a matter of fact, one time when uh, kids were uh, throwing rocks at me, I accidentally ran full force into a tetherball pole, creating a bong sound when, I, when my head struck it. All it did was make me see stars. Why were they throwing rocks at you? Was it uh, for you being a fag? No, for I was never a a uh, fag, uh, retard. On the other hand, yes, it was for uh, thinking I was retarded. You are retarded. Well, retarded or not, Brian Colony said, I'm going to fight you on one condition. What's that, fag? It has to be video recorded using two cameras for two videos. Why the hell for? You want your humiliation recorded? Not exactly. You see, I have a live leak account, and on live leak, losers like us punching their uh, lights out get a whole lot of views. In the process of us trying to knock the other guy out or killing him, it would make it would it would it would it would help call attention to my fellow cyber crusaders who are excellent at exposing Islam. I mean, Willard cut uh, Brian off uh, with calling him insane. You're fucking insane, laughed Willard. Am I? Am, and I'm not insane if I should just want to get pussy and beer all the time. Okay, okay, that's not insane. That's being a man. Got it. Ignoring the insult of uh, him being called insane, Brian went on and said, I have in the description, I, I'll have, I, 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 would, I would have in the description of that video of why such, quote, insanity is taking place to call attention to, number one, Christian Prince, two, David Wood, followed by Sam Shamoon, in um, 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 Nalan Yazmar, Ahmed's Quran 5, Craig Wynn, Robert Spencer, Pamela Geller, Jay Smith, Brigitte, he was going to say Brigitte Gabrielle, but then uh, uh, Cowboy jumps in and shouts, insane, screamed Willard at, as he was, as he, as he really meant it, you're fucking insane. I'll also bring up those, I'll see, what time is it? Oh, one more minute here. Okay. Insane, I'm insane. Yeah, 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 insane. I'll also bring up those names on the videos and tell the world that they are superb at letting us know just how badly the Quran and Hadith blow it with science, giving some reasons on those two videos since it will be two cameras I'll be using. One I'll be holding in my right hand to capture your rage. Viewers will get to see what a real cowboy looks like trying to kill them with his fists as you charge furiously at me. And in the process, Islam is exposed to the rage, exposed in your rage at me when it goes viral should you actually kill me in the process. I don't plan on killing you, just to make you mad enough to charge like an imbecile at the camera as you try to kill me. How's that? Oh, I've got to stop here.